hey there and welcome to another video with me in this video i'm going to show you how to install facebook pixel on your shopify store as you may have noticed the previous way of adding your facebook pixel to your shopify store has drastically changed uh, since september 2020 shopify has made some update and therefore um, has changed everything really so the way we used to add facebook pixel to your shopify store has changed there's a new way to do that so i'm going to walk you through on how to install it so stay tuned with me i'll walk you through on how to install it on my pc right now okay guys here we are on my pc right now there are two ways to access your facebook ad manager you can either log in into your facebook profile or your facebook business page and then come up here where where you see the plus button click that click there on create and then click on add or you can go to your google browser or any browser and type uh, facebook.com slash business business manager this you will be prompted to this specific page and then you can create your facebook ad manager you can access your facebook manager through this way as well so i've already got facebook ad manager so once you click on that specific uh, area you'll be led into this page right it says here looking for more advanced tools so click here on go to add manager so once i click on go to add manager i'll be prompted to this specific page because this is one of my ads right ad manager uh one thing i want to stress is i do have many accounts on my business manager so you need to select your specific account um, where you want to install your facebook pixel so in this case i want to install my facebook pixel on this specific account so I'll leave this account the way it is. I've selected that account and I need to click here. I need to come up here where it says business tool and click on business tools. On business tools, I need to click on events manager. And once I've clicked on, on events manager, I will be led into this specific page. Uh, these are all the pixels that I have. Uh, I have pixels from, for my different clients and pixels for my own websites as well so as you can see this is one of my webs this, these are just two of my websites with pixels in them so what i need to do is i need to come here on the left hand side and click on connect data source and on connect data source i'll be prompted with three specific tabs so there's web app and offline the one i'm interested about is web so click here on web and then click here on get started and here where it says select the connection method, I will select Facebook pixel and just click on Facebook pixel and click here on connect. So in here it says name your pixel. I will name my pixel shop and where it says check your website for easy setup. This is optional. I don't need to check it right now. I will just click here on continue. So uh, it says choose how you want to install uh, pixel code use a partner integration i will use a partner integration by the way facebook partners with a lot of companies out there so these are just some of them so in this case i will choose shopify because that's where i want to add my facebook pixel into and it says here connect your shopify account to facebook right so i will now head back into my shopify uh, account but before we go ahead with the installation process i want to show you something very interesting there's something that we call facebook pixel helper if you go on google and type facebook pixel helper as you can see here it appears on the first uh, area basically facebook pixel helper is a facebook uh, pixel extension that helps you to crack if a website has got facebook pixel installed on it or not it works on chrome and maybe it works on other browser i'm i'm not pretty sure it, but i know it works on google chrome but i don't know if it works on any other browsers so an example would be this website as you can see this is a site that was built on shopify right and if you come here on the right hand side you can see here facebook pixel helper so it shows me there are two facebook pixels found on this website so this is just an example on how to find if a website has got facebook pixel or not and we will be using facebook pixel 
product uh, in this video on my shopify dashboard i need to come here on sales channel and click on preferences and in here as you can see preferences there's title meta description social sharing google analytics you know you can add your google analytics here if you do have your google analytics credentials facebook pixel we are interested about facebook pixel so we'll stick to facebook pixel so click here on setup facebook so now it says you are about to add facebook so work with us facebook uh these are read all of these details right and then it says out sales channel so now the message here is set up facebook marketing so uh, i need to click here on connect account and i'll need to enter my password my account has now been connected uh on my business manager i need to select a specific business manager so in this case we are installing uh, facebook pixel on this specific business manager so i will make sure i use the same business manager here so i just click here on connect business manager connected facebook page i will select the specific this facebook page however if i don't yet have a facebook page i can always create a facebook page and then add it but i do have a facebook page already so i'm just going to click here on connect add account i will select a specific ad account data sharing right so this this part is very crucial this is new right we we never had this before uh, i will enable data sharing here it's up to you when it comes to data sharing one thing i need to stress here you don't have to enable data sharing that's up to you but i like to enable data sharing so i wouldn't really give you a specific advice when it comes to this area and you need to choose your level you can either share your data at standard level, enhance, or maximum. I will, I will go to maximum and go down here. It says this option share personal, cost, personal customer details. Ensure your privacy policy reflects your data sharing. So you also need to amend your privacy policy in order to meet this specific requirement. And here now it says uh, behavior will be tracked with this pixel, right? So I've selected this pixel, but I want to change this pixel because it's not the same pixel that I created here, right? Sorry guys, I made a mistake. But if you ever notice that you selected the wrong pixel, you can always go back and change the pixel anyway. It's not a big deal. So what you need to do is you need to disconnect it and click here on disconnect. And once you've disconnected, you need to now uh, come down here and choose the pixel you want to add so in this case our pixel is shop pixel that's the one we created and we just click here on connect so now behavior will be tracked with this pixel that's the pixel we've installed and we need to click here on confirm and facebook target country uh, in this case we are targeting the united kingdom so that's where i live right so you can target whichever country you want uh, terms and condition i'll just click here on accept and finish setup also congratulations guys you have now installed facebook pixel so before we head back into our business manager we need to double check that everything that we've selected is is correct right so come here on settings and here it says facebook account this is the correct facebook account the correct business manager the correct facebook page right and then here on data sharing, for example, I've selected the maximum. Yes, it's correct. Uh, the correct Facebook, the correct pixel, right? I've, se I've also selected the correct pixel. And that's it. So now we are back into our business manager. You need to click here. I have completed the setup on Shopify and click on continue. And in here now, I will need to enter my uh, website URL. So, I, so I'm just going to copy my website URL now and then paste my website URL here and then send test traffic. Come here on the right hand side where I click on this button. As you can see here, this specific pixel helper tells us the website has got Facebook pixel installed on it. So we're good, right? We've done a great job and Facebook pixel has, has been installed. 
and now you need to head back again here as you can see here as well it says facebook pixel is also active right so click here on continue so where it says verify your events in events manager you can you can go ahead and verify that but, but i'm not gonna go ahead and verify it you can do that later in your own time so i'll click here on close okay guys because i have activated my sharing level to the maximum i also need to change some settings on my pixel here so i'll select the specific pixel that i've installed there on my website and then come here and click on settings on settings as you can see here all the details here are correct where it says advanced matching you must always leave this on if you selected uh, any sharing uh, preferences right and then come come down here and click on show option yeah so on show options i need to activate everything here so i just need to turn that on really so once i've activated everything uh that's that's it really so guys that was all about how to integrate facebook pixel on your shopify store if you really enjoyed this video please type pixel in the comment section down below i do have lots of videos on shopify how to create collections how to add products how to create drop down menu how to add uh, your collection to your menu item there's so many videos that i have about uh, shopify you know so make sure you check out my playlist i'll leave it in the description down below as well uh, if you need help building your website or if you want me to review your website i also leave a link of my contact and my calendar so you can reach out to me so guys thank you very much i love you so much and i speak to you next time take care bye